everyone, uh, welcome back to Let's Play Banished, um, it's currently year 22, um, something interesting happened, um, I, whether this is shocking any, to anyone or not, I, uh, forgot to save, um, so when I quit last time I played, uh, so I'm actually replaying, uh, year uh, 22 and year 23 um, because thanks to an autosave I was able to uh, save the uh, other two seasons or years um, some one thing that I did uh, note in the last video the herbalist needs to be working uh, or we need the herbalist working in order for the herbs to be uh, distributed and such. Uh, one other thing that was going on was we were uh, working on what things uh, would produce um, for or what these would yield. So we have uh, potatoes and beans so we will go um, from that with our, uh, for lack of a better word I guess, uh, our research. I also have my lovely assistant uh, in my lap, so I shouldn't have too much uh, worry about having a cat crying uh, in the hallway. Um. Obviously, I have that already designated out, which is great. And let's see, that's being built. It's almost done. And I guess the only other thing that I really learned was that um, these will be automatically harvested. Uh, in early autumn so I don't have to do it myself and let's see is there anything else okay apparently not um guess the only real thing uh, of importance was I had uh, some bridges designated so go ahead and redesignate them good enough for uh, right now. All we're really waiting for is for that to finish up. Then we will be uh, starting construction work on those two pastures. Neither of which are large enough to move uh, any of those cattle into. So we can't split them off. But Once we do have uh, any animals, they'll be able to be used immediately. The biggest issue I was running into last time was food. Um, we finally have started hitting our uh, food threshold. So, looks like I don't have uh, any of it redesignated, but what I was going to work on next was a woodcutter, but let's see. Give me one second to bring up uh, my trusty little calculator here. 
Though I guess I can't look at both at the same time. So 50 times 15 is 750. Plus... Alright, 750 plus... 8 times 25. It's going to be 950. So... Oops. Okay. Wow. Okay, thank you. 950. Or 20. Wow. I am terrible at doing things right now. Okay. So we can probably safely get rid of a hundred of our firewood. Let's go ahead and. 400 and let's bring all that back up wow and while we were doing that we apparently oh crap well got some laborers at least um what happens when you don't have a laborer to replace your teacher? All your students uh, become not students. Three, two. Let's open up gatherer. Okay. And begin construction of that. But hopefully our food is fine. <laughs> well, shit. Don't have to worry about nomads. For a little bit, I guess. We're gonna keep 500. Oh, no. Well, yeah. No? Okay, never mind. <laughs> Looks like it did get taken out. Great. And. Those should begin soon. And then we can take stock of that. We also don't have a tailor. Fantastic. Let's go ahead and take it out, Forrester. Okay, there. Now everything is uh, fine and happy. Through more laborers, and we can fill those out. Another eight more la. 11 laborers more, and we can reopen that. So, how is construction of this going? They haven't even started. That's how it's going. Did I have everything designated that I wanted designated? Hmm. Hmm. And I'm wanting to use this uh, area for our larger pastures and then the area down here for our, um, possibly for our farms, but I'm not 100% sure yet. I guess it all depends on how it looks uh, when we begin construction. That to get switched to iron tools, okay, that's good. I would think with eight farmers. Or well, some farmers between the two farms that they'd be able to uh, handle this. And holy crap, that was a lot of children born at once. <laughs> Stone. Yeah. There's 20.
Overpaying by one, but it's fine. Yeah, ton of children now, but at least they will become students eventually. We have a nice, <laughs> solid generation there, I guess. Uh, food is eh. Let's go ahead and check this out. 955 potatoes. Sorry, um, I'm alt tapping again, but I just want to get this written down. Alright, 776 beans. Let's go ahead and switch that to beans and that to potatoes. Then we'll do um, beans on, or wheat on both farms to see how those do. And let's see. 17 children. That's, that's something. Well, that's probably because of those 10 students that we had that suddenly became uh, laborers. So, I guess that's not that surprising. One person being cold, but see how they at least have a bit of wood there finally. <laughs> it's better than what they've been doing. Can I look at food? Yes, food production. We made 3,400, so we are behind by 18. Last couple years, we were behind by 32. Last five, we are behind by 37. Last 10, we are ahead by 4. Okay. Well, at least we know that we can uh, produce the food. When it comes down to it. Yeah, three students, 17 children. Oh boy. I think that might actually uh, flutter schoolhouse with children, um, which means we'll be having uneducated uh, laborers. How's that doing anyway? About half of our population is uh, educated, so that's good at least. Would be a bit higher if we had uh, hadn't lost their teacher. 20 families, 30 homes, so that's do still doing fairly well. And no one has actually died of the cold or exposure, so that's also good. But I'm judging, well, judging by the fact that there's no snow on the ground, and it did just take over to early spring. So I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. I'm going to make sure I save. And I will talk to you guys uh, in a few minutes because I'm going to go ahead and uh, get this episode or this next episode recorded as well so that I'm back to where I thought I was before. So I'll talk to you guys later.